All right, we're gonna talk about spooky avalanche conditions. Spooky generally means there's a persistent weak layer that's lurking in the snowpack somewhere. These can be very hard to detect and they can exist even in low, moderate, or considerable avalanche hazard. The best strategy for dealing with a persistent weak layer is to open and close terrain just like a ski patrol does, but with your own group. Let's say you read in the avalanche forecast that there's a persistent weak layer on northeast facing slopes above treeline. Well, make an agreement with your group not to ski terrain that fits that description that's over 30 degrees. I even will block out terrain like that on my navigation app, and if I start getting close to it, I know to back off. Don't change your mind once you're out there. Even if you don't see any avalanches, or if you don't see that layer, maybe if you dug a snow pit, trust the forecasters. You might not have been looking in the right places. There are way too many examples of people that have changed their mind once they were out there because they felt good about the conditions. Don't fall into that trap and be that person who operates on feelings and intuitions. Instead, open and close terrain based on observations and consensus before you go and stick with that decision.